Okay, so for basic Adobe Audition, what you're going to want to do is first open up a file, and you can do that by going to Import, and I'll show, show that more time so that you can uh, kind of get the hang of it. But after you import it, you drag it over to the right here onto the uh, multi-track menu, hit space bar to play. So we listen to this, and this, what this is is a loop. So we can stretch it so that it repeats itself, as you'll notice here, compared to the first time. So that's what a loop sounds like after you stretch a little bit. And basically a loop, all it means is that it just keeps repeating itself without you having to place it there multiple times. You can just stretch it. So let's bring in another loop, again, by clicking on the import button. And then we can just, uh, we'll delete that one real quick. And now bring this over, drag it. And then all you have to do is right click and drag it over to the left if that's where you want it. Zero back by dragging the yellow slider. Hit play, and as you can see what that sounds like. Actually, you know, I don't really care for this one, so we'll delete it. Import another one. Again, you see the import button. Select this one this time. Select it from the menu and drag it over into multi-track. And we want to bring it all the way to the edge so as it starts at zero. And that's kind of what that one sounds like, so we'll stretch it out and play it all the way. So see, not a bad mix there because basically it's just repeating itself. Doesn't sound too bad. Now this button goes back to the beginning, or as I like to say, zero back. So that's what it'll do. And it just takes you back to the beginning. Hit the space bar to play again, or you can click the play button. And again, you're going to play uh, the loop that you just made. So now what I'm going to show you to do is to edit. So we're going to bring in a track here. This is actually the theme to my favorite TV show. This is theme to The Office. And we're just going to play around with it uh, while we edit. So what we're going to do is want to find a spot where you can edit music pretty good. And what you can do is zoom in just by using the uh, scroll button on the mouse. And so you can just hit space bar to hear the, just the little blurb that's shown there. And by zooming in, you can just see the waves better. So it, it'll be a lot more precise when you actually go to cut or edit this. We'll zoom back out and find a better place to edit real quick. So here's the beginning. Sounds like we could probably... Uh, we can probably lay that over itself, maybe make it a little longer just by duplicating that. So what we're going to want to do is zoom in so we can see the entire beginning. Click at the beginning and just drag over. That's going to select the whole thing. Now it's a little hard to get just that spot right there, so we're going to have to open it up a little bit, zoom in a little more. So again, we can be a little more precise. Click back at the beginning and you can drag it to where you want to. I need to move over a little bit so I can get that last spot in there. And that looks like it could be good. So we're going to want to copy it. Just right click, select copy. Click right at the end of it. Click paste. Boom. And it just lays it in there right like that. So now let's uh, go ahead, zero back. And then we'll uh, play this and see how it sounds. So it's definitely not perfect, but it sounds all right. And here's the here's where it goes into the original right there. So it sounds... I mean decent but we could definitely mess with that a lot more and make it perfect if we wanted to now we could always just undo that and take it out but uh, you can also highlight by again clicking wherever you want to over here wherever you think you started at and drag it back to the beginning of where you entered where you put it in there and all you have to do is uh, click delete gone so now we want to see what that sounds like and there's still a little bit left there that we could probably uh, we could probably take out of there, so we want to zoom in so we can get the uh, precise waves that we want out of there. And then go back a little bit, see what it sounds like. And now take off a little bit more because it had a little bit we could take off, and well, that sounds pretty close to normal. We're not really going to need this for anything, but in the future, if you're going to make something on here, you're going to want it to sound pretty good. Now, what else I can show you? Some effects. So we'll go to the end of the song here, and that's kind of how it goes out, but. You know, it goes out kind of abruptly, so what I'm going to do is select the area, go to Effects, and uh, what are we going to... Well, we're going to want to slow it down a little bit, so let's go actually to uh, Time Pitch, which is right there, and we'll uh, go in. What you can do is stretch it, and uh, what we're going to want to do is actually stretch it out so it slows down, because what it does is it, it keeps the same pitch you had, but it's also going to take it over a span of time so it slows down. So with your ratio, as you see uh, to the right there, if that's at 100, that is normal. So above that, it is going to have a faster tempo, as you can see it tells you. And if you go below 100, it will actually be a slower tempo. tempo. We want to slow it down a little bit, but so that it sounds pretty decent, just click on Preview here at the bottom, and you can listen to it. You know, sounds all right. I mean, we don't need this for anything, so it's not great. You can always fine tune that later. So let's 
listen to it. And it's not really a bad sounding outro. We could probably do more with that, but just for basic, uh, basic effects, which you could play with a lot of others, I'm just going to leave it at that. So now, if we run track one, we can play with the, vo the volume, and again, you can expand those tracks so they're bigger by using the uh, scroll button on the mouse just over the left here. And see, there's the volume box, and by clicking in the box and either dragging down or up, you can adjust the volume up or down, so that's what it sounds like. You know, so if you want to boost the levels a little bit, it's all right there. Let's boost it up to eight, and you know, that's probably too loud. But I'm going to show you something that you can do, what I like to do to fix volume levels on basically anything you want here. Because Audition has this real neat feature, which is where you can take the entire wave, go to ampli ampli amplitude, then amplify, and it amplifies it. You generate uh, the numbers that it finds for you so that it takes it to its maximum amplitude without being too loud. Then you go and hard, hard limit it, so it cuts off basically anything that would be too loud and uh, get distorted. So we go ahead and do that, and it basically goes to its limits, but it still sounds pretty decent. So let's take, go ahead and take that volume back down because that was messing us up after hard limiting, and here's what it kind of sounds like right now. That's all I have for the basic uh, beginning Adobe Audition uh, 1.5.